What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Game Day with Trey. Of course, this is your host, Trey. And today, we're going to go ahead and talk about this round two NBA playoff game one matchup between the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Denver Nuggets. All right, so this game will be played at 7 p.m. East Coast time. The line did open up over under 209 with Denver minus five. Uh, the line has since moved to over under 208 and a half, Denver minus four and a half. All right, so let's go ahead and let's take a quick look into this matchup, you guys. All right, so what we got going on here, <clears throat> when we're talking about these two teams, the last time they met was on April 10th, 2024, and uh, Denver won 116 to 107. Uh, last year, the Minnesota Timberwolves were a stepping stone for this NBA championship team, and this time around, Minnesota's a roadblock for this Minnesota Nuggets team. All right, now this much anticipated matchup is familiar since it's the number two versus the number three seeds, guys. Uh, Jamal Murray said, we see them four times a year. We saw them in the playoffs last year. Uh, we know what they like to do, and they know what we like to do. I think the series will be decided on who can do a better job of taking away the strengths of the other team. All right, now, the, the Denver Nuggets needed just five games to, to beat them last year, guys, All right, in the first round of 2023. It was a competitive series, but at the end of the day, uh, they only took five games in the gentleman's sweep. All right, uh, Anthony Edwards did miss a, a jumper at the buzzer in, in game five that would have actually forced overtime. Uh, so there was, it was not like it wasn't competitive. Like I said, they were competitive, but it was a gentleman's sweep. All right, um, Carl Anthony Town says they have championship pedigree. They just got guys who, all, who have been there when were all there to win the championship last year. Now, the only person injured coming into this game happens to be the Minnesota Timberwolves coach. Uh, he suffered a ruptured patella tendon in his right knee in the closing seconds of Game 4 against the Suns and had it surgically repaired on Wednesday. If uh, Finch is unable to patrol the sidelines, then it'll be assistant uh, Mike Nori, all right, who will serve as the acting head coach. All right, so uh, let's take a quick look into this matchup, right? When you're looking at the matchup in the last... Huh, in the last 10 times these two teams have, have seen each other, <clears throat> Denver does own this series 7-3 to head-to-head. -head. Uh, it's even 5-5 five five against the spread, and it's been 6 to the over, 3 to the under with one push. All right, so uh, like I said, they have seen each other four times this year. It's been 2-2 two and two, uh, as far as head up, and Minnesota is 3-1 and one against the spread um, against them this year. The only time Minnesota didn't cover this year was in that last game back on April 10th. In the last uh, 10 games Minnesota's played, of course, we know they're 7-3. and three. They're 5-5 five and five against the spread and 7 to the over, 3 to the under. So their games have been trending over. Uh, whereas Denver, Denver's 8-2 in the last 10 because they just drug my Lakers. Uh, they're 6-4 and four against the spread and they're 5-5 five, five and five. Uh, to the over and to the under, and there they are actually in their last five games. They are trending closer to the under than anything. You know, all the games against the Lakers, only one game went over, and that was uh, back on April 27th in LA. Uh, now, when we talk about these two teams on the season and what the, how they match up on the court, uh, Denver on the season had the number six overall defense and Minnesota had the overall number 18 offense. So that's 113.2 points per game that Minnesota averaged scoring on the season versus Denver with 109.4 number six defense. And Minnesota, of course, did have the number one defense in the NBA over the regular season, only giving up 106.4 points per game. Uh, whereas Denver, Denver did average scoring 114.5 points per game. That's uh, the 13th offense in the NBA. Now, we all know Minnesota likes to get their points in the paint. And uh, in the paint is where Denver actually plays its best defense. Uh, just to, just as an example, man, uh, Denver's defense opposing uh, effective field goal percentage on the season was number four, giving up 52.7%. When it came to two-pointers, they gave up 52.6%, number five in the NBA, and three-pointers, 35.2%, number five. Uh, yeah, they, they lock down. They lock down the three-pointer. They give up the second least amount of threes in the NBA uh, made and uh, opposed, but uh, when you talk about what these what they've been doing in the playoffs, it's just kind of been like the opposite of that almost, guys. 
to be honest with you, because uh, the way that these two teams have been playing, like I said, Minnesota's been trending to the over, and Denver's been trending to the under. So then let's just look at this current situation, right? Now, uh, as a home team, we know Denver on the season, including playoffs, is 36-8. and eight. Uh, As a home favorite, they're 35-8 and eight straight up. Uh, and Minnesota on the road is 28-15. and 15, And as an away underdog, they're 9-10. and 10. So uh, when they're in this situation, the books got them in the situation for a reason. All right? And when you look against the spread, uh, as a home favorite, Denver comes in as 21 and 12 and 1. I mean, I'm sorry, 21, 21 and 1 uh, as a home favorite against the spread. Whereas, as an away underdog, uh, Minnesota is now 10 and 9. So they do cover more against the spread than they than the, than not. Uh, but they they do lose the games too. You know, it's kind of like it, it, it's it's back and forth to be honest with you. They're they're a team that can actually cover a line, especially if the line is like four, five or six, but as I told you earlier, the line has been trending down. It's down to the four and a half currently right now. And then when you look at the over-under, uh, as a home favorite, Denver is 18 to the over, 25 to the under. Whereas as an away underdog, uh, Minnesota's 12 to the over and 7 to the under. So, like I said, trending to the over, guys. Like, I understand this line is, is moved and is moving down, this and that and the third. But uh, I don't think the defenses in this in this series are really going to start until later on. Like you got to, it's a chess match in the playoffs, and then you also you missing your head coach. Like that is not good. That like I'm sorry, but that's just not good. You missing your head coach for game one. You, this is a very important game uh, when a tone either can be set or not be set, man. And uh, in the last three games, Minnesota's averaging 117.7 points per game and giving up 106. Now, that's against Phoenix. Uh, and Denver, Denver in the last three games was averaging 109.3 points per game and giving up 110. That was to the Lakers. Okay. Now, this is a completely different team. Uh, Minnesota does have the ability to shoot the three a little bit better, I think, than the Lakers did, just on consistency, because a cat, cat can definitely shoot that three. And Edwards can shoot the three when he wants to. Nas Reed can shoot the three. Um, yeah, Mike Conley, uh, he can shoot the three. Uh, like, they can shoot pretty decent if they want to. All right. If they want to or put in that position, they. Uh, they can do it, you know what I mean, versus the Lakers. The Lakers really couldn't do it. Lakers, you, who's consistently shooting threes out there for L.A. Uh, throughout that series, man, besides LeBron, and he wasn't even consistent. Like, it, it, it just wasn't a good matchup for L.A., and it was proven, and it was proven, all right? Uh, this matchup right here is going to be very intriguing, though, all right? Uh, now, on the season, on the road, Minnesota's averaging 114.4 points, Okay, which is three points less than they're averaging in the last three. And they're giving up 109.5 points, which is three points more than they're giving up in the last three. And then when you look at Denver, Denver is averaging 117.8 points per game, which is like eight points more. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, they're giving up 108.3, which means they're giving up like two points less. Now, mind you, those games were against the Lakers in those last three. And uh, it was a very tight series. You know what I mean? So you can expect those numbers to kind of look close like that. Uh, and, and even though the Suns did get swept, uh, it, it, yeah, it, I don't think that was a very competitive series. I'm not going to lie. Y'all saw what I was picking. You know what I mean? Y'all saw what I was picking. You see what I've been picking throughout the playoffs. I've been doing my thing. Uh, I know I have been missing some videos and missing some days, but to be honest with y'all, man, I work. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got a job. You know what I mean? And so I I do this for fun for you guys, all right? And for my homeboys that call me consistently trying to get picks and texting me and all stuff like that, man. So I just I do it like this so that they can understand and I can give them the information the same way I'm giving you guys the information, you know? So let's kill two birds, one stone for me. Uh, but meanwhile, talking about these two teams, uh, 
the the Timberwolves have won each of their last nine games as underdogs when playing with a rest advantage. The Nuggets have lost three of their last four games when playing with a rest disadvantage against the Timberwolves. The Timberwolves have covered the spread in each of their last 11 games as underdogs when playing with a rest advantage, and the Nuggets have failed to cover the spread in each of their last four home games following a, a home win. And then with the Nuggets, the Nuggets have won 14 of their last 15 playoff home games. Timberwolves have lost seven of their last eight playoff road games against Northwestern Division opponents. And uh, the favorites have covered the spread in six of the Nuggets' last seven Western Conference semifinal games. So, nine of the Timberwolves' last ten games as underdogs following a road win have gone over the total points line. And seven of the Nuggets' last eight playoff games have gone under the total points line. For what do I like, guys? Not gonna lie to you, man. Not gonna hold you. It, yeah, I'm taking Denver money line. Uh, I think they're gonna win this first game. I love Aunt Edwards. I love Minnesota. And if I can buy a couple points and get Minnesota up to like seven and a half or something like that, uh, I possibly would take that too at, a, at some at some point. You know, but I'm not liking that two possessions. I think that's free throws. It will be a close game, but uh, which is why I'm taking Denver money line. Uh, I could also buy points in the opposite direction for Nuggets at, at the same time. Uh, I think that's also viable. I, I think that's a good thing in-game parlay, actually. You know, and uh, as far as the team totals, okay, so the team totals are set at where is it at? The Nuggets are set at one hundred five and a half, and the Timberwolves are set at one hundred one and a half. All right. Uh, do I believe that these teams can actually uh, eclipse that? Well, when you look how they played each other in the last 10 games, like I said, uh, it's been 116 to 107, uh, 111 to 98, 115 to 112, 110 to 89. That was this season, guys. All right. When you look last year in the playoffs, it was 112 to 109, 114 to 108, 120 to 111, 122 to 113. Uh, yeah, like I said, guys, these are, the, and yeah, they can definitely go over that total points. But if you look in game one of last year, it was 122 to 113 and went over to 221. Really, last year in the playoffs, when they played the five games, it went over, push, over, over. Like, it was, it was overs. And these teams were playing defense last year, guys. You know, so that's why. I kind of like the over in this game, man. I think that they can definitely go over those team total points. I think the defense is going to be as good, I think. So uh, I'm leaning that over one on one and a half for the Timberwolves and possibly over that 105 and a half for the Nuggets, man. Like, there's a lot of different opportunities in this game. You could do some same single game parlays here. You could do some one picks, which is why I'm done. I'm going to do some one picks. But I also see a lot of opportunity with the same in game parlays. Uh, but, I don't know, man. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments uh, or what, who you like. Uh, I will try to post in here, like, in the comments what I picked because I, I know I told y'all I'd start doing that. So, I'm going to try to do that. Uh, but, I don't know, man. I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Y'all have a blessed day. Stay safe. And I'm going to see you at the window. Peace.